Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. This one is going to be about cycling. So what I've decided to do is if I'm in the camper van, and I'm not in the camper van, if I'm in the camper van, I'm doing videos about camper vanning. If I'm in the garage, and I'm in the garage, I'm doing videos about cycling. So if you're interested in camper vanning, but you're not interested in cycling, turn off now. If you're interested in cycling, but you're not interested in camper van, stick with it. Okay, is that clear? There will be questions at the end. Now, uh, my mate Simon uh, had, uh, well, has had some health issues and he recently bought an e-bike and it has transformed his cycling. Now, I did a video some months ago, which was called, I think, 10 Reasons Not to Buy an E-Bike. And some people in the comments, I've got to say, were a little bit sniffy about that video. I think it's fair to say it has not been one of my most popular videos. Still, I stand by everything that I've said. And uh, if you're not sure what I said, then you can watch the video again. But if... You know somebody like Simon, perhaps you even know Simon, uh, somebody who has bought an e-bike, then you will be thinking it's coming up to Christmas. What do I buy my mate who's bought an e-bike as an e-bike Christmas present? And I am here to give you 12 thoughts, ideas, suggestions of some Christmas presents that you can buy for the e-biker in your life. So let's get straight into it. And the first one is, they may have one of these already, and this is an e-bike pump. Now, when you have an e-bike, you can use normal wheels, and you can use normal tyres, and if you're using inner tubes, you can use normal inner tubes, and if you're using tubeless, should you be mad enough to use tubeless, you can use tubeless tyres, but what you can't do is use ordinary or what we call normal air you have to use air that's been electrified and put that into your tubes or if you're using tubeless and why would you be using tubeless into your tire and in order to get some of that electrified air you need to get one of these e-pumps now they do tell you that in the small print when you buy the e-bike but they don't necessarily make it as clear as, as personally I think they should do. And these e-pumps are not cheap. Now I bought one as a present for Simon when he got his e-bike and it cost me 199 quid which I thought frankly uh, was a little bit steep and that was from Aldi. I mean I had a look on uh, Rafa uh, I think it was and the cheapest one that they did was was 375 pounds which i thought frankly uh, was a little bit steep and if i'm honest rather more than simon actually deserves so this one uh, has just been released and you can get it in little and it's only 49p but i must warn you it's only going to be available for a limited time in fact it's only available and it is now uh, 19 minutes to 2 on Wednesday the 1st of December. It's only available until 5 past 2. So that gives you uh, 24 minutes. And in fact, as you're not going to see this video uh, until sometime this evening, you've missed the window. But perhaps it'll come round again. So keep an eye on the little website. Um, not the little website, but the little website which is where can I get one of those e pumps from dot com and that will give you uh, the time when it's next going to be available and if you use the code uh, Julian 2 uh, you'll be able to get 0.2 percent off the price of the little e pump but without it your e-bike just isn't going to work if you should have God forbid a flat tire so an e-pump is the first and possibly one of the most important christmas presents you can buy somebody in your life who's got an e-bike now present number two uh, is quite important whether you have a, a, a normal bike or an ordinary bike or if you have an e-bike and that is you will need to have an e-fit 
And an e-fit is, is basically a bike fit, but it's designed to ensure you can fit your e-bike. You may know uh, that e-bikes have a slightly different design, slightly different geometry, slightly different setup, slightly different structure, slightly different stack, slightly different reach. And unless you get all that sorted uh, by means of what they're now calling uh, an e-fit, uh, you're not going to fit your bike properly. And the way you get an e-fit done is at your local police station. Now, you may not know that the police offer this service, but in fact they do. So if you Google uh, your local police station, just go on to Google and put in your local police station, it will come up. Uh, give them a ring, send them an email, text, WhatsApp, other message systems are available, and say, I want to organise an e-fit, and they'll book you in. It takes about... Uh, it takes about three and a half hours. Uh, it took Simon uh, a day and a half, but, you know, Simon's a little bit unusual in that sense, so it took a little bit longer to fit him to his bike. But it will work. Uh, get the e-fit. You can organise that. And this is one present, actually. This is absolutely free, so you don't have to worry about finding a code for Amazon or uh, a little or, or whatever it is. If you want to give the police five pounds for their Christmas bonus fund, then please feel free to go. But the official price is actually zero so that's the e-fit now the next thing is uh if you've got an e-bike you're going to need pedals as you may well know but you can't use again this is such an irritation i don't know why it's designed this way you can't use ordinary pedals you have to use e-pedals now i've only been able to find uh, one and I got this from uh, that auction website called eBay where you get all the kind of e-bike stuff from and this is an e-pedal it's quite a nice one but they only had one uh, available now it is um, uh, uh, what do you call it? It is an ambidextrous pedal, which means you can use it for your left foot or your right foot. So if you have a pedal already, or you've got uh, perhaps a relative, a long lost friend who could find also the other pedal, or not actually not the other pedal, just another pedal because it's it's ambidextrous, then you'll be able to use that as the left pedal if you use the other, this as the right pedal. And if you were to use this as the left pedal, then that one that somebody else caught, bought you, you could use as as the right pedal so it's an e-pedal a normal pedal i mean you can put it on your bike but you just won't turn the cranks the only way you're going to turn those cranks on an e-bike is if you've got an e-pedal and as i say i got this one on uh, ebay it was pretty cheap it was only 49 pounds but i think only one pedal i don't know I, I just think the person who was selling it was you know were they were they taking the piss possibly you decide leave a comment down below if you think they were taking the piss and just selling one e-pedal. But, you know, that's what happens in these difficult times. And the next bit, uh, or rather the next present, is a, is a fairly cheap one. And um, this is here. Uh, you can see it on my phone. And it's eStrava. Now, you'll be familiar with uh, uh, Strava, that app where you record your rides. But one of the things that's caused a certain amount of irritation is that people who use an e-bike upload their rides to Strava and they claim uh, a lot of KOMs. I have a, I have a mate, uh, Dave Osborne, lives down in Dorset, who's been claiming a lot of KOMs on an e-bike. And some people think this isn't necessarily playing the game. So what Strava has done is they've introduced e-Strava. So if you have an e-bike, then you get to use E Strava. Those of us who don't have an e-bike, we stay with with normal mechanical Strava. So all of the e-bikers uh, can compete for their their KOMs and their you know their PPBs, their PRs, their whatever it's called, um, and they're just competing against other e-bikers they're not competing against you know what we might call real cyclists uh, and they might call uh, tossers who don't have e-bikes so e-strava uh, it's available on a, a premium uh, subscription service 99 pounds a month but you may only need it for a couple of months once you've claimed all those koms then you can come off e-strava and they will stay there as uh, e e-bike koms until somebody comes along and claims them so i think that's quite a good present uh, for somebody who's recently got uh, an e-bike 
And the next thing isn't really, uh, uh, or isn't specifically a present. Uh, it, it's, it's just to remind you uh, of a song that came out in the 60s uh, called E Ain't Heavy Is My Brother. And it was by a band called The Hollies. You may have heard it because there's been a number of cover versions. But the original version with their lead singer Buddy was a really, I, I think, quite a good song. And it was about the fact that the, the singer's brother, Buddy Holly's brother, had bought uh, an e-bike. And it was quite a, it was quite a light e-bike it was quite an expensive model for the for the 60s and that's why he wrote this song called he ain't heavy he's my brother because his brother had quite a light e-bike so you can find it uh, on spotify just look up he ain't heavy he's my brother by buddy holly and the hollies and there you are you'll have that song and you can you, you can gift it in in what we call a gift certificate to somebody else and if you use the code uh, julian4 on Spotify, and uh, then you won't get any sort of discount, but you'll feel better because you've used a discount code. So remember, Julian 4 and E Ain't Heavy is my brother. Now, when you're circling on, on your bicycle or on your e bike, you're going to want a drink, a drink of water or something else. But if you want to have a drink of what we call electrolytes, then you're going to have to have one of these special e-bottles again uh, it's annoying irritation don't know why they've done this you can't use a normal cycling water bottle on an e-bike especially if you want to drink electrolytes you have to use uh, an e-bottle and this is one of the one of the first e-bottles that's that's been produced it's been produced by the e-bottle company uh, it's available in different colors but only in white for the moment and uh, uh, it's quite cheap. Uh, this one was uh, $9.99. But if you use the code uh, Julian999, you can actually get $9.99 off the price and therefore you won't pay anything for it. But they do ask you uh, to pay $19.99 postage, which I think makes it still, still quite a good deal, depending on where you live, obviously, because if you live a long way away, I don't know, Nor Norway or Iceland or... or uh, Kathmandu, somewhere like that. It might not cover the cost of postage, but they'll tell you how much it is when you get to the website. You get to check out, you put in the code, and then it'll tell you what the cost is. But do remember the e bottle is free, you're only paying the postage. Zwift. The weather is not nice, it's raining, it's cold. You want to stay inside, you want to get on your turbo, and you want to do Zwift. But then you see a big message come up on Zwift that says, Hey, no, you can't do Zwift. You've got an e-bike. So what you have to do is click on, yes, it's always the same, click on top right-hand corner, e-Zwift, and enter that new world that they've just released, which is called Etopia. And Etopia is only for people, again, who are riding e-bikes. Perhaps they're also on e-Strava. And when you're in Etopia, uh, everybody else is riding around with a kind of smug expression on their face because they're saying, we're saving the planet, whereas all you people driving Teslas are, are fucking up the planet. And all you people ride, driving around in cars or even camper vans powered by petrol or diesel, uh, you're fucking up the planet even quicker than the rest of us. But we're on e-bikes, so we're fucking up the planet but much more slowly. So you can do it on Etopia. All your favourite uh, routes are there. You've got all the training segments you can do. They're not going to do much for your fitness because you're riding a box e-bike, but you didn't buy an e-bike to get fit. You, drove, you bought an e-bike because you're lazy. So get on eSwift, get on Etopia, link it to your eStrava account, ride your e-bike with other e-bikers and enjoy yourself. Why not? It's a free country, or at least for a short time. Now, e-bikers are keen on poetry, as I am, as it happens. And one of my favourite poets is one of the first of the e-bike poets, and that is E. Cummings. Now, 
He, his name wasn't actually E.E. E. His name was E, which stood for Eric. But because he was so keen on an e-bike, he was just given that nickname. So people called him E.E. E. So it was Eric E-Bike uh, Cummings. And he, he wrote his, his poetry back in the, the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and the 90s and, and the noughties. And one of the things that uh, that E. Cummings is well known for, apart from his poetry, and in fact most people don't know his poetry, but the thing they do know about him is that all his poetry was written in lowercase. So he didn't use capitals, if you don't know what lowercase means. And the reason he didn't use capitals is because he used an E typewriter, an electric typewriter, uh, obviously, and the the caps and the caps lock keys were, were broken. And therefore, he couldn't do any uppercase, or as you would call it, capital letters. So he did everything uh, in lowercase letters. And one of his, one of the best lines of, of E. E. Cummings is, uh, nobody, not even the rain, has such small hands, which is a line that Woody Allen quoted in Hannah, Hannah and Her Sisters that I've always liked, even though I haven't understood it any more than I understand the rest of E. e. Cummings' poetry. But if you want to get uh, a book of, of E. e. Cummings' poetry, I suggest you get uh, E. Cummings Greatest Hits uh, Volume 1. Uh, there is also Volumes 2, 3, 4 and 5 but those haven't got any Greatest Hits in them. It's only the first volume uh, that's got some of his more well-known poems and particularly the ones that I haven't heard of. Shoes. Shoes. E-shoes. You've got an e-bike. You've got your bottle. You've got e-Zwift. You've got e-Strava, you've got e-pedals, you've got an e-pump, and you think, great, I'll go out for a ride. But then you can't go because you haven't got e-shoes. You've got to have the special e-cycling shoes. Now, I've got a, I've got a pair here, or rather I've got one one here the other one is is still in the box but it looks the same only it's for the other foot so if you imagine this this if you imagine this 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 way for the right foot and this this way for the left foot but slightly designed differently then you'll get an idea of what i mean and this is uh, uh this is an e-shoe for an e-bike and it's an e-shoe because it requires uh, 14 aa batteries which you put into the sole here you lift up lift up this clip and it reveals a flap and you put in your your 14 AA batteries and there you go it uh, it works it's difficult to tell uh, I'll be honest what that battery power actually does because I I tried this I put these on put the batteries in and uh, I went for a ride on Simon's bike and they just seemed like ordinary shoes to me so I have a funny feeling that somebody's perhaps taking the piss here that, you know, they're saying you need to have issues, whereas in fact you don't really. But anyway, I mean, I tried it. I tried it without the batteries in. I couldn't make the bike go, so perhaps there's something in it. So e-shoes, uh, you can get this from various places. You can get them from, uh, what's that shop called? Russell and Bromley. Um, there's also a shoe shop called Shoe Zone, I think. There's uh, an e-cycle shoe uh, shop which I think is in Leeds if you can get the train up there and they come in different colours but currently only in grey and um, for some reason they're only available in size 44 but they can make your feet bigger if you've got feet that are smaller than size 44 um, but unfortunately they can't make your feet smaller so if you've got big feet you're just going to have to crush them uh, into a size 44 e shoe but at least you'll be able to ride your e-bike so you know all is not lost as they say einstein or instein as he was known one of the great one of the great swiss e-bikers of the uh, the last century was it the last century or was it the century before i don't know he was a he was a physicist or a mathematician or an astronomer i'm never quite sure i looked him up in wikipedia but there's more than one einstein and i wasn't quite sure which one i was looking for anyway the one that you will know 
uh, invented uh, this this particular slogan while he was doing those adverts for British Gas or Southern Electric or whoever it is on, on UK telly. If you're in the US, you won't understand what I'm talking about. But anyway, they've got they've got Einstein. I mean, I personally would have thought he was dead by now, but obviously not because they're now using him, and he's doing these these adverts for um, for, for British Gas. Anyway, he came up with a with a formula which you may have heard of, which is E equals. I'm have to read it here because it's not in my head. It's E equals M C squared, and what that formula means is that E, which stands for e-bike, equals MC, which is motorcycle. And although it's written as squared, it actually what Einstein actually meant was halved. So he meant so what he is essentially saying is an e-bike is a motorcycle halved. So if you imagine the kind of power you might get off a motorcycle and then halve it, and therefore you've got something that's roughly equivalent to an e-bike. And Einstein was the first person to discover this when he was doing his, his experiments on his e-bike and worked out that if he went twice as quickly, he would be doing the equivalent of a motorcycle. But if he went half as quickly as a motorcycle, that would be the same as an e-bike. And he also introduced something that he called relativity. And what he meant by that was that if you left early enough, uh, you could get to the coffee shop before you'd actually arrived. Now, lots of people have tried this, okay, and I, I tried it myself. Right? I went down to, to Rafe's in West Wickham, my favourite coffee shop, and I tried to get there before I'd actually arrived, and I just couldn't make it work. So I don't know what it is about the trick that Einstein managed. Perhaps British Gas had worked that out, and that's why they're using him uh, for their adverts. But if you understand that, then you're a better man than I am. Gunker did, and that's all I can say. And one of the last things uh, I want to talk about is one of my favourite bands, uh, is a band called Pulp, as you may have heard of. And one of their great songs was Sorted for Ease and Waz. And what that means was that you you went out on your e-bike and you went a few miles, you had the need to go to the toilet, so you stopped and you took a waz. So they wrote this song, Sorted for Ease and Waz, and it was basically about the joys of, of riding an e-bike and then stopping and, and having a waz. And if you've never experienced that because it's not the same as having a waz on a on a normal bike having a waz on an e-bike is a is a, uh it's an almost transcendent experience i don't know what it is there's something about that battery power uh coupled with a need for a waz that just takes things into another dimension and if you know somebody who's got an e-bike and you say to them, look, can I borrow your e-bike? And they say, well, why do you want to borrow it? And you say, well, I want fancy going for a ride and having a waz. And they'll say, yeah, yeah, dude, I know exactly where you're coming from. You take the bike, you have that waz and don't come back until you've done it. So if you look up that Pulp song, it's available on Spotify, sorted for ease and waz. Quite a good tune, quite a good danceable number, as we used to say back in the 60s. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it. So the band is called Pulp and it's sorted for ease and waz. And then my last thing is not actually a, uh, a present, and some of these haven't really been presents. They're just kind of ideas, notions that you can give to the e-biker in your life. And that is from a, a, about another band, another of my favourite bands called the Happy Mondays. They, they, they hailed from uh, uh, Manchester, which is in Scotland. And one of their greatest hits would cause, was called Ease Are Good. And what they simply meant by that was e-bikes are good. And yes, we can all we can all agree with that. If you have an e-bike, you eventually you reach a kind of state of what we call ecstasy. They call just, you know, riding an e-bike can be a very enjoyable thing to do. So what I suggest you do is, again, you go onto that uh, uh, Spotify. If you, if you use the code uh, Julian27, you won't get a discount, but you'll feel better about putting in that code because it's a nice thing to do, particularly near to Christmas, and you feel like you're getting a bargain, even though you don't have to pay for it. And do that and uh, enjoy yourself. So there you are, 12 Christmas presents for the e-biker in your life. Have you chosen what you're going to buy for Simon yet? I think I have and I'm going to go out now and, well, actually, I don't have to buy it because I've already got the stuff here. So I'm going to choose one of these things. I'm going to wrap it up 
And then Simon's going to get a present on Christmas morning and he's going to think, oh, I'm such a happy, lucky go chappy because I've got an e-bike and I've got all these wonderful presents as well. So just like to say in ending uh, that all my videos raise money for the Vine Food Bank, which is in Croydon in the United Kingdom. So when you sit through these videos, you help to raise funds that help people who are less fortunate than ourselves. And by the way, yes, I did have a haircut. I thought my hair was receding a bit and I said to my wife, I think I'm getting a bit thin on top. So when I had my hair cut, I said to my hairdresser, who's a Kurdish chap, very nice chap, and uh, uh, I said, I think my hair is receding. And he said, no boss, it's not receding. But I, I have a feeling, a feeling he might say that to all his customers. Leave a comment down below if your hairdresser says to you, no, your hair is not receding. So we don't see you before Christmas. Have a good time. And uh, actually, no, there will be a couple more videos before Christmas, so there'll be time for me to wish you a Merry Christmas. But thanks for watching, and see you next time, maybe in the camper van, maybe in the garage.